curious object today comes from our collection here at Paint & Zoo. It's a large oval in shape, measuring around 60 centimetres in length. It's hard surfaced, it's covered with 13 large shapes, bordered by 24 smaller rectangular shapes. Its curved shape gives it a nice streamlined look and its glossy appearance shines under the lights, really showing up the great speckled pattern all over it. Our curious object today is a turtle shell. So this is the shell of a green sea turtle to be exact. So they're found in the tropical waters around the Atlantic and the Pacific Oceans. Now you can see by the size of it, they get pretty big. So they can be over a meter in length and they can weigh up to 180 kilograms. So they're a large turtle. Now the shell itself is made of bone and then that's covered with a really thin layer of skin. And on top of that, you've got these shapes that you can see on top. They're made of keratin and they act uh, as a protective layer, a bit like our fingernails. Now these shapes actually have a special name, they are called scoots and you will find a very similar pattern on all turtles and tortoises, they all have that same design. Now if you believe cartoons then you'll think that turtles and tortoises are able to hop out of their shells and back in again, but that isn't true. So if I turn this shell over you'll be able to see it on the inside, this is the bony part of it, and these lines coming out here, this is actually the ribs, and then down the centre here, this is where the spine would have been. So the bones are missing on this shell, but if I just grab another one that we've got here in the collection, you'll be able to see on this one, we've still got some of the spine attached. So you can see now it's not possible because turtles and tortoises are all completely joined on the insides. So green sea turtles are unique in the sea turtle world because of what they eat. So all of the species of turtle are carnivorous. So they're going to be eating things like crabs or shrimp or even anemones. Um, and some like uh, loggerheads will even eat jellyfish. But green sea turtles are herbivores. So they mostly graze on seagrass and they play a really important role. So by grazing on the seagrass, they're a bit like the lawnmowers of the sea. This keeps the seagrass healthy and low down, and those seagrass beds then are used by other marine animals for breeding. So they play an important role within the ecosystem. So we obviously don't have any turtles as large as this that live here at Paint Zoo, but we do have several species of smaller turtle, including one called the Anam leaf turtle, which you can find in our tropical trails exhibit here at the zoo. Now the Anam leaf turtle is critically endangered. There's thought to be less than 50 of these animals left in Vietnam and in fact no one's seen one for the last 15 years so there's a chance that they are already extinct in the wild. That's why it's so important to have a captive population like we do here at Peyton Zoo because that's going to stop that species from going extinct completely. So one final curiosity for our turtle shell. A baby green sea turtle is just five centimetres long, but their shell will look exactly the same as this. So a turtle's shell will grow with the turtle as they get bigger. Now what they'll do is they'll shed off these scoops and replace them with new, shinier, bigger ones. Now that's one of the differences between a turtle and a tortoise. Turtles will shed their scoops, tortoises will not. So I hope you enjoyed today's curious object from the zoo. Make sure you like, share and subscribe to our videos so you don't miss a single one. And I'll see you again soon.